All right, welcome back to PyCSC. Today we'll talk about optimization in SciPy and the booklet that we wrote on how to do that. So optimization is often used to minimize a function. So over here we have a function you might want to find the minimum cost, or you may want to look at uh, where a maximum profit is. And there may be constraints like you can't go over the budget, you have to make at least a certain amount per year, or the volume has to be positive. All of those uh, are constraints or bounds on your problem. So SciPy supports um, all of these in lots of different ways. There is um, a good function for minimizing a function. It's called minimize. And you can also use it to maximize uh, the a function just by taking the uh, negative of that. So in this booklet, we talk about using minimization uh, we talk about what happens if there's uh, multiple minima. There are uh, ways to do parameterized uh, minimization where you solve the same problem multiple times for uh, different values of a parameter. We talk about maximizing a function. Uh, it is just the opposite where you, you take the negative of it and minimize that. There's bounded minimization, multivariable minimization, constrained minimization, and we talk a little bit about how to use um, Jacobians and Hessians to speed up um, and make the minimization more, more stable. There are several algorithms that are possible. Uh, there's BFGS, there's uh, LBFGS-B, um, sequential least squares quadratic programming, and, and quite a few others. There's also support for linear programs. So linear programs are a special kind of optimization problem where the output or the objective function is linear in parameters with linear constraints. And there's lots of ways to do that. Uh, so we work out uh, an example of how to solve this kind of, of problem. Then there's several algorithms that do global optimization. So most of the methods that I talked about above are local minimizers, that is they find the local minimum. And there are several uh, ways to do uh, brute force minimization, basin hopping, differential evolution, dual annealing, SHGO, and, uh, and we talk about some, some challenges in how to think about global optimization and, uh, and what, we, what we expect to see. Um, there are some legacy functions that I mentioned and some limitations that I talk about in uh, what, what can be done with the SciPy functions and when do you need to go on to other uh, more um, sophisticated, dedicated libraries. And that's mostly around integer programming and if you need more, more robust global optimization methods, um, then you'll probably need to go beyond what's available in SciPy. But overall, SciPy covers a lot of ground and can solve uh, quite a few of your optimization problems, uh, especially at uh, kind of a typical undergraduate engineering level. And it's a, it's a great foundation to start to get into some of the more sophisticated libraries that uh, solve problems that are either larger or, or more difficult. All right, you can find a link to optimization and SciPy in the video description. And if you like the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, let your friends know, and thanks for listening.